Hello, welcome to this video on the Rubicon Models 156 scale Schwimmwagen Type 166. This is a plastic kit and it's an amphibious four wheel drive car that was very, very mass produced during World War II and uh, has many, many uses uh, in anybody's force or just as a um, bit of a uh, scenic element on a tabletop game or also in dioramas. Okay, so let's take a look inside the box. Okay, so in the box we have the uh, instruction leaflet with all the uh, exploded diagrams and relevant numbers. Let's see look at that in a second. A sheet of decals and one plastic sprue that's sealed to stop any components from breaking free. Okay, so let's take a look at the sprue detail. We have a driver and there's two head options, one with a cap if you're doing uh, the desert or tropical environments and the standard here helmet there. The main body, the lower part in two halves and the upper sort of bathtub type at the top. Some paddles for when you're up a creek. And looks like a lot of lights, some machine gun options, MG34, MG42. Propeller and the seats. So it seems fairly straightforward, so I'll uh, stick the kit together and then we'll be back. Okay, so um, we've assembled the uh, plastic kit. Now, here's the uh, driver. He's still a little bit wet. I'm not including him in, in my build because I'm using um, the vehicle uh, in a diorama. And I don't need a driver in this one. But as you can see, the detail of the driver is very uh, detailed, as close as I can get into the camera. Shows the here helmet option, there's also the DAC one. The other things that I've left off the kit so far, if I can pick them up, is the two paddles because uh, I'm going to find it easier to paint the vehicle, put them on afterwards. Obviously the decals haven't been Put on at this point but this is a selection of number plates and some africa core decals there and here's the vehicle it's quite an intricate little kit uh, it's still drying at this point and what i've chose to do is just leave the upper body loose at this point because um, I'm gonna find, uh, paint the interior uh, before I join the two sub assemblies. Um, but you can see the detail is quite good. Just try and get it together without breaking anything. So I chose the M MG34 option. That's still loose, so I can paint it. You could also put a sheet of. Um, plastic in for the windscreen. You've got the tarpaulin in a folded back position and also you can leave this uh, so you can move it for obviously up for um, driving and down if it was in uh, the um, water mode uh, and the same with the um, I'll try and get some tweezers same with the windscreen, it's on a little hinge. And I'm not going to move it up too much because of the MG34. Um, so that's the uh, Schwimmwagen. It's a very nice little kit, in my humble opinion. Uh, it's quite intricate, so you do have to take your time and be careful when you're snipping off some of the parts. 
because sometimes what you think is um, sprue, it isn't, uh, which I did myself, which was I cut this piece off here, off this hinge, and I'm about to glue it on. So yeah, just take a bit of care with that. thing that I used that was uh, optimum was um, these uh, Zuron flat cutters. Um, I haven't had to do any clean up on any of the parts. You just give me a nice clean cut away from the sprue. Um, and you can see an example of that on this rod, this hook here. I had about four or five different connectors on it and it just snipped off and there's no clean up required. Okay, so that's the, a look at the uh, Schwinnwagen. It's uh, available on the website in the UK and the US. Thanks for watching.